I'm on call the midwife downstairs and he's got QI on in the bedroom. But there's only so many babies you can watch being born. And I quite like Stephen Fry. Only three or four percent of mammals are ever faithful. Did you know that? Bats, muskrats and wolves, apparently. Wolves. You don't expect that. Then the one with the beard says, monogamy, bigamy, all one wife too many. <laughs> and we're laughing. He's got his arm around me and we're laughing when he says, I'm leaving. Forty-three years. It's not as if we didn't try. No one stays that long if none of it is working. We travelled. We had one another. We were family. We gave each other confidence. We built a good life together. We owned our own property. Yes, we argued. Yes, we didn't like everything, but we talked about it, we thrashed things out. Compromise? Maybe, yes, sometimes, but is that such a bad thing, rubbing along? But your door is always open. You just let anyone in, Helen, if it was up to you. And that's when I say, no one's listening. Exactly. That's my point, and now he's getting really agitated. If you'd been listening, then maybe this wouldn't have come as such a surprise. I, I thought together we were stronger. Who wants to be alone? You'll get over it. it. Won't be as bad as you expect, I promise. He says that, but it's balances and checks. That's what marriage is, that's what any union is for. It made me feel safe, it made me feel secure, it kept me in line. I thought we were working towards something, us, a team. There's no I in team. But what about freedom? Freedom to do as you choose, to spend your money as you choose, to live as you choose, Helen. Well, that got to me. To screw as you choose? Yes, Helen, yes. I'm getting too old for this. That's when I vowed he'd pay. Don't leave like that and then nothing. This is going to kick you where it hurts. It'll cost. And forget regret. And he just stands there calm. We'll see. We'll see. Forty-three years. Would have been easier if he'd had an affair. He'd have lost his head, but at least he'd have come back. I might even have forgiven him. But this... This, there's no coming back from this. Once you're out, you're out. You left, and that's it, that's it. What do I do now? You live with it. And then he turns and says, but we'll always have Paris, which makes me laugh because he hated the French. <laughs>